virtually eliminated. Oh, and uh -oh. there's a miss, but Jordan will get a chance to replace it. But he has got to be careful now because he must make the dunk. Otherwise, the maximum he gets is 25, and that could be costly. That could make the situation resulting in one of the other players to sneak past him. This might open the door for Drexler. I think Smith would have to come up with something awful powerful. That may have closed the door. Well, it was the semifinal round. They got three dunks each. That was the same dunk he had just missed, and uh, he made a slight adjustment, and you get a look high above. Now you saw him throw his arm down in there. He was making sure he didn't miss that one. He got, he watched the right hand now. Up high, his hand is there. He ducks out of the way. Now watch him throw it down in through. Now I tell you, I think 47 is a tough score. That was a very impressive dunk. I think the judges might be affected by the oh, fact he missed, but they're not supposed to be. And 145 is his total for the three dunks. He had his whole arm in there, Rick. He did. He, had, he definitely had to duck his head out of the way of the rim. And that's the twist he was talking about putting on that kiss the rim. In other words, take his head up. He, he normally just went in and windmilled it from the side. This way he went past the hoop and reversed it. That's the twist. Here's Smith. All right, Otis Smith in the semifinal round from Chicago Stadium, the 1988 Gatorade Slam Dunk Championship. Along with Rick Barry and Steve Jones, this is Bob Neal. Hope you're enjoying All-Star Saturday. Had an exciting Legends game. Larry Bird won the three-point shootout over Dale Ellis, 17-15. to And now the Slam Dunk Championship's underway. 42 on that one. Well, you know, again, I, I think the thing for Otis is that he's following Jordan and everything is going to pale by comparison. That's still a powerful opportunity for him, but uh, the middle dunk is really what hurt him. Clyde Drexler, third dunk. Now Clyde came up with a little bit more spectacular opportunity. He 360 and threw it down right in front of the rim, kind of going away, but I don't think that's going to be enough to push him past Jordan or Dominique Wilkins. Now, this is tough. The way he spun, that's the tough way to spin. He's spinning opposite of what your body normally would like to do, and he was still able to throw it through. Uh, he didn't get up as high as he'd like to. It looked like he might have pulled his back a little bit on that spin move. And Drexler gets a 46 to go with his 45, 42, 46 for a total of 133. So thus far, Jordan with 145. Wilkins has 96 coming into this his third dunk of the semifinal round. Needs a 49 to tie Jordan. Started in front and finished on the other side, and we'll see how the judges like it, and that's enough to push him past Drexler. I think he was just making sure that he got a good enough score to make it into the finals. Uh, he really was in a good position. Here you see him bring it up. And again, the double clutch down, back up, and over and through. And this is, again, the flare that he has. As he goes up, he's high, all the way back down on the clutch move, past the basket, and then brings it back with a two-hander over the head. Not your routine two-hand over the hand dunk shot. A little more flare. He does get a 47 to give him 143 for the semifinal round. So the two finalists will be previous champions, the defending champion Michael Jordan with 145 points in the semifinal round, and Dominique Wilkins with 143 points in the semifinals. And this is what the crowd's been waiting for. The championship round, there'll be a coin flip to determine who goes first. I think I'll change my pick. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> but at least my pick is still in there. So Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. This could be good. I wonder if they've saved anything now, for the you, championship well, round. Well, Bob, I think that if Michael's, I mean, if Dominique's going to have a chance to beat Michael, he's going to have to get some kind of a running, floating type of a shot as opposed to just the strict power moves that he's been doing if he expects to beat Michael. All right, Michael Jordan won the coin toss, and he's going to let Dominique Wilkins go first. In a home crowd here, as you take a look at the summary so far, Jordan and Wilkins, who've made it, eliminated were Drexler and Smith. In a home crowd, I might, if I'm Jordan, elect to go first. I'll see what Steve and Rick think about that when we return to Chicago Stadium for the championship round of the Slam Dunks. of karate kung fu and the Chinese a chuckle. Yeah. Oh. But the one about the socializing. Yeah. Oh. I always reach for a call the Miller Light. Yeah. Light says a great, lightless a feeling too. Yeah. Hey, anybody want the pepperoni? 
ancient proverb, only one light beer, Miller Light. Introducing the 1988 Eagle Premier, the first in a series of sophisticated automobiles from the new Jeep Eagle division of the Chrysler Corporation. Welcome back to All-Star Saturday, and what a day it has been. It began with a Legends Classic. A two-point shot by Dave Collins in overtime gave the East the victory. Then in the long-distance shootout, the only two three-point shooters among the league scoring leaders, Dale Ellis and Larry Bird, Pressure pack final, Larry Bird the winner. Now the slam dunk championship, the last two winners, two of the last three winners, that is, Dominique Wilkins taking on Michael Jordan. Thanks, Greg Sager. Here's the slam dunk championship, Michael Jordan, Dominique Wilkins. And I ask you fellas uh, if you thought uh, Jordan should let him go first or not. Well, I think that uh, Jordan probably did the right thing. He's going to put the pressure on Wilkins. And Dominique is going to give a little running start to this one. Not much, though. <laughs> From high above the rim. High above the rim. Well out in front. I think that that's the key. As well as the height, how far out in front he caught it when he's able to hammer it home. And again, he makes it look like it's routine. But watch, look how far away he is. That's a great start for Dominique. And look, still going up when he, he caught it. Uh, right, and he stayed up for so long, took off from just inside the bottom of that circle and was able to throw it through with authority as he tossed it up from the top of the key. We'll watch one more time. There he is from the top of the key. The perfect toss, the perfect timing, and look at he stay up, up, and throws it through with power. And the perfect score of 50 on that dunk from Dominique Wilkins, now the defending champion. Well, now Jordan does have his first taste of pressure in the slam dunk competition. <laughs> I'm predicting a 50 on that. Be hard not to give him 50 on that one, Steve. That was impressive. That time he did the two-hander double clutch as he did Michael look like the kiss the rim type of dunk he'd done before. He got a 50. Well, we're still even as Jordan goes up and takes it way down and then hammers it home over the top. And you'll see from way up high just how difficult it is. And we'll see the Dominique Wilkins reaction. He looks like a heavyweight fighter who's just taken a roundhouse right, and now he's going to set to throw another one. So that's the second 50 of the day for Michael Jordan, but remember the, the scores from previous rounds don't advance. This is the championship, Dominique Wilkins and Michael Jordan. That like rattled a, the floor. Like a 45 being shot someplace. That one exploded at the bottom of the net. And that even has the Chicago fans humming because the power that Dominique has. Dominique he has more power than any dunker that I've seen play this game with the creativity also going along with it. Here he comes up in the air. Look at the legs. Look at the arms. The windmill and power. He almost lost it. Let's check the judges out after he hit that one. Oh, they were impressed enough to give him a 50. His second 50 in the three dunk championship competition there is a dunk off in case there's a tie a sudden dunk you, well, you know what he's telling greg anderson yeah that, that that'll get some heat on him now we're gonna we're gonna see what the judges will do now jordan for his second at a 50 on the first Oh, look what's going through his mind. He said earlier, sometimes he doesn't decide until he's in the air. <laughs> Looked like a figure eight with the double clutch. This is much like a heavyweight championship crowd, you know, and they are trading like big heavy right punches. Jordan took a long time to think about this, knowing he had to get the judges' attention. 47. A 47 was awarded on that dunk. 
Oh, that is some great creativity. And you notice he's going with the two-hander, Steve, to get a little more power as we watch the reaction of Dominique Wilkins as Michael went in for the dunk. And he just waits to see what the score is. There's another look at that dunk. Now watch when he takes off. Look at the way he moves the ball from the right down low to the left, two hands, and throws it through with authority. These judges are going to need the National Guard to get out of Chicago Stadium. Yeah, it's a hostile, ugly crowd now. <laughs> well, Dominique only needs to come up with a well, needs to come up with a great dunk here if he gets a 49 or a 48. 49, he can't lose, or 40, 48. guarantee you he will not get 50 on this dunk. Guarantee. <laughs> a two-handed windmill, and the judges are going through, their entire lives are flashing in front of their eyes. 47, Michael gets the 50, and it's a dunk off. <laughs> well, we, watch, we watch Dominique Wilkins come in, and again, with a power and authority, low with two hands. And the judges have awarded Dominique Wilkins a 45. That's incredible. <laughs> Could we call it a make good? I mean, that's a two-hand windmill with authority from the sideline. Let's watch this one again. Here he comes, takes off, two hands up, down, around, and through with two hands. Now for Michael Jordan, here's the story. Wilkins finishes with 145. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. Hey, you don't think the crowd has some influence on the judges on that last dunk? <laughs> Well, they're on their feet here at Chicago Stadium. Here's another guy that relishes the challenge and pressure, but again, creativity and imagination is the key. Plus, he's got to make the dunk. He needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. The defending slam dunk champion, Michael Jordan, if he were to win this, he'd be the only two-time winner in the four-year slam dunk competition. Larry Nance won it, Dominique, Spud Webb, Jordan, and Michael is backing all the way to the middle of the backcourt. Now he's going to the baseline. If he could somehow do some sort of spin on the way to the hoop, Rick, I think I would almost ensure it for him coming this far away. All you need to do is make it from the free throw line like you did before and he'll win. He does get a replacement. Now let's see if the miss influences the judges, even if he pulls it off, because he took off a little further inside. His legs may be getting a bit tired. He's had to do a lot of jumping here this afternoon. Needs a 48 to tie Dominique Wilkins. A 49 would win for the second year in a row. The fans are all on their feet, or most of them are anyway. Now the only way that he's going to lose this competition is if he misses this dunk. A 48 ties, a 49 wins. Michael Jordan scored 50. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. And he took off further inside than he did the last time, but it's still a spectacular dunk and certainly deserving of the high score that he received, Steve. But Dominique Wilkins got the short end of a very impressive dunk consistent judging all day until the last two dunks prior to this the 47 and the 45 a note was passed down to the judges <laughs> <laughs> this is chicago <laughs> the uh, home fan advantage i think worked in favor there's the dominique watching that last dunk well it's like figure skating or any kind of gymnastics any kind of sports where judging comes into play there are going to be those who believe that Dominique Wilkins had the most spectacular performance today. We're going now to Craig Sager and Dominique Wilkins to find out his reaction. Sound like some microphone problems for Craig Sager. We're going to take a break here, uh, adjust the microphone there, and then we'll have the awarding of title held.
by defeating my uh, Dominique Wilkins in the championship round and the fans loved it here at Chicago Stadium but there are going to be arguments all day long Jordan on the day had three fifties one forty eight and four forty sevens now they're not cumulative scores but he had a great day dunking the basketball Steve.